Just going to try this one more time here. <coughs> so I shorten up the inductive loop on the high side MOSFET as much as I can. I probably, I don't know, took like four or five inches out of the, out of the whole loop anyway. Um, basically, the high side MOSFET gate gets connected to the... Um, gets connected to the phase wire and that's how it gets pulled low so you can see here there's ringing when it gets pulled low that's actually the high side um, MOSFET gate we're really looking at there so now I'll watch what happens when I turn the low side on you can see it lines right up with where the false turn on event is so basically when the low side is trying to turn on it's actually causing a false turn on event in the high side so here's one other really cool thing I found. I just have a 12 volt battery hooked up to the, to the power uh, bus bars right now. We'll pull that off there and watch that shrink right away. Now look at how clear that is. And I'll just pause that. Move that over. Look at how clear that is now. And we'll turn on channel 1 again. Shoot, I'll we'll have to uh, do it this way. Come on. Put it there. Pause it and bring it back. Look at how perfect that looks with no power running to the bus bars. So it's all because the uh, when the low side MOSFET turns on, it creates a, a voltage spike on the high side gate and that's probably my whole problem very cool